either you can jump in or you can step in 10 reps. So let's get ready. So three rounds of this with the mountain slides pigeon. Whoa, that's going to be close. <laughs> out of the way but you just make do Now I could go much faster, but I'm not going to get the same results. So I'm pulling in my core here, rounding down, knees into chest, legs straight, thighs also engaged. two more. So a lot of us are, work, are looking at fitness people thinking they have easy. If you're watching this workout you can see that it's not easy and this is one of the different style workouts that I do 
So this is going to be also a great example of how you can see different versions, not a program. And even though I'm talking and taking pauses, you can see I still have results because not because it's perfect, but because I do my best in the moment. The same as flexibility only happens if you happen. Even if you count one rep wrong or any of those things, it's not going to be a big detriment in the big picture when you do majority of it. One more. to tabatatimer.com T-A-B-A-T-A-T-I-M-E-R.com and I'm going to set the prepare is 10 seconds, the work is 30 seconds and the rest is 10 seconds and the cycles is 6 seconds, 6, sorry, cycles, okay? So we've got the tuck jumps or the squat you got the jump lunges and the deadlift to the goblet with or without equipment. So here's another chance for you to jump in on the workout and do something which is going to be better than nothing. And guess what? It's only four minutes, but this four minutes done consistently can have huge changes. So starting session, double lunges, jump lunges to. So I'm going to do the tuck jumps. Here I die. Keeping my core on, legs slightly bent, squeezing my glutes, weight is in the heels, so I could lift my toes. So back to double lunges or <coughs> my version of squat jumps. So you can see I'm only one part of three. And I'm dying. Look how quick you can get a burn. Ten seconds. Which is a good thing because 
lungs are imperative. And right now, this is a virus that affects our lungs. So, the huffing and puffing is a natural part of growth. So, so you can see, just by doing this part alone, which is only four minutes, it's going to yield awesome support to building strong lungs. Also, to getting those endorphins going, to feel a little happier. And then, building strength and endurance. So, you should be feeling the burn. And you can see that during the time that I'm working out, I'm also setting things up. And all of this is okay, because it allows me to get a good technique. So remember, if you're a beginner, you can do this, or put your hands underneath this or this. It's totally up to you. And I'm only 45, I'm only 45 seconds to go, 15 seconds in, and I want to quit. I'm so tired already. Squeeze your legs together. 35 seconds to go. Keep pushing your back into the ground. 30 seconds. For 20 seconds. If you're struggling here, you can also come back if you need to. Okay, 10 seconds. Ooh. So, this one's now to the bird dog. So, you can lift one leg, one arm, and then the other or you can lift them together, or you can lift them together and do the knee tap. You have to choose your version with quality to get the best results. And now that I'm tired, you can see it's much harder. Two. Three. And this is good because one side is harder than the other. Four. So you get to find that out. And then know which side to really concentrate on. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. So my back is coming off, so I'm going to put my hand underneath and just do the leg extension component. I want to protect my core and my back. I don't want to use my ego. I want to use my ego to drive me to do my best, not to drive me to push past my best into poor form. So the whole relationship with the ego is that we use it to drive ourselves to manage in this capitalistic world. However, we also build a relationship where we are not serving it, but it is serving us to do our best. So 20. One. Four. Six. 
six. Whoops. <laughs> eight. Halfway. Nice and controlled. So I've got one more 12 round of this workout. If you haven't already shown up, then here is your time to make that change. 14, 16, 18, whew, 20. Okay? So I'm going to use a 20 kilo kettlebell. The other version was the squat and jump squat, or squat and toe squat for no equipment. So five of the burpees now. So, you're going to really start to feel it. I'm going to push through the last bit. So, <laughs> this 20 is yet really heavy. This time's 10, I'm just making sure my body feels ready.
going to turn my timer off and just focus on the last bit in form. And so the next bit is, oh, not sure if I've got it in me, about 15. Again, if you're just doing this, you're going to get great results. This is just a longer workout. Sometimes I have time, but not always do I do this style either. This is just an example. So use them, modify them, change them, create them, make them your own. And that's going to be the greatest success. Belly button in, core tight, using the glutes and hips. moment because so lighter. It's going to feel great. And this used to be hard. Bye.